In Florida, the shark is at the heart of a research program aimed at saving the U.S. Navy over half a billion dollars a year. The challenge we're trying to overcome is to reduce the friction of a vessel going through water. And what we're specifically looking at is the condition of the ship's hull. The ship's hull is the equivalent of the shark's skin. Anything that sticks to it, like barnacles, disrupts the flow of water over the surface and slows it down. So it needs more fuel to push it through the water, and that costs big money. The Navy is currently estimating half a billion dollars in extra fuel cost every year because of fouling on their surfaces. But how do you make a surface that doesn't attract unwanted visitors? Could this be where Mother Nature comes in? The manatees of Florida, they still have barnacles on their back. The whales have barnacles on their back. Everything seems to have it. Except, of course, the shark. But the shark doesn't. The shark has stayed clean, and so we've been working on that direction. So a shark's skin is naturally barnacle resistant. Examining its unique patterns under a microscope reveals why the barnacle doesn't stick to the shark. The surface is too difficult. It can't find a flat place to land. So unlike the manatee and the whale, a shark's skin has specifically evolved to repel barnacles. In the case of the mako, that might make all the difference between catching the tuna and letting it get away. The researchers have developed their own so-called sharklet skin. So this is a first for Discovery Channel to see this. This is pretty exciting. There it is. The first ever production sample of sharklet on a surface. Picked out with a laser pen, the shark skin pattern on the artificial sharklet shows up clearly. Just like a shark would have on its skin. Today's test is about glue. Unless the sharklet can stick to the boat, the research has been in vain. First production sample in. Cutting edge science. But where would the researchers be without the shark's 400 million years of evolution? <laughs>